Have you ever wondered how emeralds get their mesmerizing green color? Well, prepare to be amazed. The world of gems and minerals is a treasure trove of secrets, and perhaps none more enchanting than the emerald. This vibrant green gem has captivated hearts and minds for centuries, from the courts of ancient Egypt to the red carpet of Hollywood. But what gives emeralds their signature hue? And how are they crafted into the sparkling stones we adore? The answer lies in the heart of science and art, a blend of chemistry, physics, and a touch of human ingenuity. It's a journey that starts deep within the earth and ends in the hands of skilled craftsmen who cut and polish these gems to perfection. But the story doesn't end there. Today we'll delve into the captivating world of lab-created emeralds. Stick around. To understand the emerald's green hue, we need to explore its chemical composition. Emeralds, like all gems, have a unique recipe that makes them what they are. Their allure lies in their color, a vibrant green that has captivated humans for centuries. Now, what gives emeralds this verdant charm? The answer lies in their chemical makeup, specifically the presence of two elements, chromium and vanadium. Chromium and vanadium are transition metals. These metals have a unique capability to absorb certain wavelengths of light, which is key to the emerald's green hue. When light strikes an emerald, these metals absorb all colors except green. The green light is reflected back to our eyes, and voila, we perceive the emerald as green. Chromium is the main colorant for emeralds. Despite making up only a small fraction of the gem's overall composition, it has a significant impact on the color. The more chromium an emerald contains, the deeper and more intense its green hue will be. Vanadium, on the other hand, is a secondary colorant. It steps in when chromium is not as abundant, contributing to the green color, but in a slightly different shade. Emeralds with a higher content of vanadium tend to have a bluish-green hue, adding to the gem's variety and allure. While both elements are necessary for the emerald's green color, the exact hue can vary based on their proportions. The balance between chromium and vanadium, along with other factors like the gem's crystal structure and inclusions, can create a spectrum of green shades, from light spring green to deep forest green. So the next time you find yourself mesmerized by an emerald's green hue, remember the science behind it. It's a delicate dance of light and elements, a testament to nature's chemistry lab. And it's this intricate process that makes each emerald unique, each hue a signature blend of chromium and vanadium. Now that we understand the science of color, let's move on to the creation process. Creating emeralds in a lab is a meticulous process, involving precision, patience, and a dash of science. Let's delve into the fascinating world of creating lab emeralds, starting with the preparation and the materials required. The path to crafting a lab emerald begins with the right ingredients. The primary component is beryl, a mineral that forms the basis of natural emeralds. But beryl alone won't give us the vibrant green we associate with emeralds. That's where chromium comes in. This element is responsible for the unique green hue that sets emeralds apart from other gems. In addition to these two key ingredients, we also need a source of heat and pressure to mimic the conditions under which emeralds form in the earth. A hydrothermal growth chamber is used for this purpose. The chamber is designed to withstand high temperatures and pressures, replicating the intense conditions deep within the earth where natural emeralds are born. Now that we've gathered our materials, it's time to prepare for the process. The beryl and chromium are ground into a fine powder and mixed together. This mixture is then placed into the hydrothermal growth chamber. This is a delicate step, as the mixture needs to be evenly distributed to ensure a uniform color throughout the emerald. Once the mixture is in place, the chamber is sealed and the heat and pressure are gradually increased. This is where the magic happens. Over a period of weeks to months, the beryl and chromium react under the intense conditions, slowly crystallizing into a raw emerald. This part of the process is a waiting game. It requires a great deal of patience, as rushing could result in a poor quality emerald. The growth rate of the emerald is painstakingly slow, often just a few millimeters per month. But the end result, a beautiful lab-created emerald, is well worth the wait. With our materials ready, we can dive into the heart of the creation process. 
The next stage of our journey will take us even deeper into the art and science of crafting emeralds, where we'll see how these raw crystals are transformed into the dazzling gems we all know and love. Let's continue our journey in the lab, where our emerald begins to take shape. After the initial preparation and the careful creation of the perfect environment, our emerald starts its metamorphosis. The seed crystal, already imbued with the necessary chromium to give the emerald its distinctive green hue, is submerged in a molten mix of minerals and chemicals. This mixture is known as the nutrient solution, and it provides the raw materials necessary for the emerald to grow. The seed crystal is then subjected to conditions that mimic the intense heat and pressure found deep within the earth. This is a delicate balance, as too much heat or pressure can cause the crystal to fracture, while too little won't allow the crystal to grow. Under these conditions, the seed crystal starts to absorb the nutrients from the solution. As it does, it begins to grow, layer by layer, atom by atom. This is a painstakingly slow process, taking several weeks or even months to complete. But this slow growth is what gives the emerald its unique crystalline structure. Over time, the seed crystal transforms into a larger rough emerald crystal. This crystal retains the same hexagonal shape as the seed crystal, but it's much larger and more complex. The growth process also introduces unique characteristics to the crystal, such as inclusions or jardin, the French word for garden. These inclusions are like fingerprints, giving each emerald its own unique identity. The crystal's growth is closely monitored throughout this process. Once it has reached an optimal size, the growth process is stopped. The newly formed emerald crystal is then carefully extracted from the nutrient solution. Once the crystal is grown, it's time to give it its final form. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's marvel at the beauty of this newly formed emerald, a testament to the wonders of science and the enduring allure of these green gems. Cutting an emerald is a delicate art, requiring skill, precision, and a steady hand. Imagine for a moment the gem cutter's workshop, a realm where science meets artistry and where the raw potential of our lab-created emerald is about to be revealed. At the heart of this process is the gem cutter, a master of their craft who understands that each emerald has a unique character and that the cut must do justice to its inherent beauty. The cutting process begins with the rough emerald stone, which has been carefully grown and nurtured in the lab. The cutter's first task is to analyze the stone, studying its size, shape, and internal structure. This crucial step helps to determine the best cut for the gem, one that will maximize its color, clarity, and brilliance. Once the cutter has chosen the ideal cut, they will then mark the stone, creating a roadmap for the cutting process. This is a meticulous task, requiring a keen eye and a steady hand. One wrong move, and the stone's potential could be compromised. The actual cutting of the emerald is a process that combines modern technology with traditional techniques. The cutter uses a rotating wheel coated with diamond dust to carefully shape the stone, following the roadmap they've created. This is where the emerald begins to take form, its facets appearing one by one, each contributing to the gem's overall brilliance. After the cutting comes the polishing, a crucial stage that brings out the emerald's luster, the cutter uses a fine abrasive to polish each facet, removing any rough edges and enhancing the gem's shine. The final result is a gem that sparkles with a rich, vibrant green, its brilliance enhanced by a cut that has been carefully chosen to show it off to its best advantage. The cutter's work is now complete, and the emerald's journey from lab to gemstone is almost at an end. With the cutting process complete, our lab-created emerald is ready to shine. The gem cutter's art has transformed a piece of rough stone into a radiant jewel, a testament to the beauty that can be created when science and artistry come together. But why are emeralds considered so precious? Let's delve into their value and importance. Emeralds occupy a unique position in the glittering realm of gemstones, a position that is as much a result of their rarity as it is their vibrant green hue. Finding an emerald with the perfect balance of color, clarity and size is no small feat, making each one a precious rarity. The more intense the color, the more valuable the gem, with the most prized emeralds boasting a lush, vivid green that seems to glow from within. Emeralds are not just about their physical characteristics, 
but they also carry a rich history and symbolic significance. For centuries they have been revered in various cultures around the world. The ancient Egyptians, for instance, saw the emerald as a symbol of fertility and life, while the Romans associated it with Venus, the goddess of love and beauty. Today, emeralds are often associated with qualities like wisdom, growth, and patience. The allure of emeralds extends to their metaphysical properties as well. Many believe these verdant gems to harbor energies that can enhance one's intuition, open the heart chakra, and promote healing and balance. While these beliefs may not be scientifically proven, they add another layer to the emerald's mystique. Emeralds also command a high price in the market, not just because of their rarity, but also because of the high demand in the jewelry industry. They are a popular choice for engagement rings, necklaces and other fine jewelry pieces, standing as a timeless symbol of elegance and sophistication. The emergence of lab-created emeralds has made this gem more accessible to a wider audience, but it hasn't diminished the value of natural emeralds. If anything, it has only highlighted their rarity and the unique charm of their imperfections. Emeralds, whether mined or lab-created, hold a special place in the world of gemstones. Indeed, their captivating green heart continues to enchant, symbolizing not just the beauty of nature, but also the timeless allure of precious stones. From the lab to the jewelry store, the journey of an emerald is truly fascinating. To think, these stunning green gems start as a science experiment, cooked up in a lab with a dash of chromium to give them their iconic color. Then, through a meticulous process, these lab-grown beauties are transformed into large, radiant crystals. But the journey doesn't stop there. The art of cutting these emeralds is a craft in and of itself, with precise angles and pressure points to bring out the stone's full brilliance. And why all this effort, you might ask? Well, emeralds aren't just any gem. They're precious stones, valued for their rarity, beauty, and the remarkable process that brings them into being. Hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of emeralds. Remember, knowledge is power. Don't forget to subscribe for more engaging critical thinking topics, and check out our affiliate links in the description. Until next time.